Hi friends, we are Timo and Sandra aka Monasi and we spent the last two years traveling through Europe full time in our self-converted van Parker. We lived the most amazing adventures and had the best time living on the road, made awesome friends and saw the most beautiful places, but now we're ready for something new. So we decided to go back home, pack our bags and get ready for a new adventure. With way too many bags, we flew 16,000 kilometers away from home and made it all the way to Melbourne, Australia. So get ready to join us for a day in our lives in the land down under. <laughs> Good morning! May I introduce to you? This is our little disco. Looking after him for the next, I think, four weeks are left now. And he likes his morning cuddles. Feeling a bit more awake now, <laughs> we got dressed and we're ready for one of our first things in our morning routines these days, which is the W word. We can't say it out loud because then this one here will get too excited. Because he definitely understands what we mean with that. Let's yeah. see if this time he gets as excited as he normally does. When he sees us getting ready and stuff, he kind of gets a hint of it, but you need to say the word. Are you ready for walkies? Is it time for walkies? Yes! Yes! <laughs> the walkie dance! Yay! Yay! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Okay, let's go. Stretching is important in first thing in the morning. He knows it. Right back up. Good. The first one in the neck. Check. And the second one around your leggy. Protected in your chest, ready to go. Let's launch this rocket. <laughs> so before we leave the house, let's get our Aussie essentials. Always your pair of sunnies, your takeaway coffee cups, and in this case, the doggy. Let's go. So we're gonna forward at this point because we have to show you what happens if the front door is closed. He goes totally crazy. So into the future and then we see us back in the here and now. This is how it looks like when the door is closed and we have to actually push the button. Somehow he loses this shit. Let's check it out. Just go take a, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Ear protection. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back. Okay. He's like, come on. <laughs> 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 so there's always a lot of excitement happening for him when we have the first walkies of the day. And when the door's closed, it's insane. And if it's open, he just jumps around happily. I don't know if you could see it right now in the recording. Now it's coffee time. Sadly, because of Christmas, a lot of our normal places are closed at the moment. But we found an alternative one that hopefully is open. Honestly, the Google Maps has been saying open and then we rock up there and the places are closed. So let's cross our fingers, we can have a nice coffee today. Jin Jin 
disco is a natural on camera. And actually, we had like almost 40 degrees the other day, like two days ago. Today we are wearing long sleeve with a jacket and everything. So the weather changes very quickly here. But it's all worth it to see palm trees everywhere in my happy element. Ah, let's go. Can you shake a little? What, what is this in your face? <laughs> Can you please help? Can you shake your face a little? Shake. So it's been now, I think, almost three weeks of us dog sitting. I was going to say babysitting. <laughs> Close enough. And uh, this also was going to be kind of a trial to see if we like having a dog. I've been trying to convince Timo for months now and it was never a good time and I was kind of hoping that, oh let me adjust you here, I was kind of hoping that this would be the thing that would um, help me convince him but I'm not so sure. This good boy is uh, not been easy so far. <laughs> he's cute but he's a cheeky one. Right, the acai boy was delicious, the weather has turned around completely, so there is a nice day ahead of us. And we actually have an inspection for a house in St. Kilda West, which is pretty close to the beach there. And yeah, we're gonna spend some time at the beach afterwards, probably with this nice weather, and then explore some parks. Yeah, show you a bit around the southern side of Melbourne. So we don't have so much time left, let's change and let's go. Alright, we have to rush, we are a bit late, but before we go, very important. Disco, are you ready for your music? Because we always leave some music for him. He's a classic fan, so let's do it. Some Bach and Beethoven today. Oh, okay, today is some jazz. You ready? See you later, Disco. Alrighty, we made it to St. Kilda West, which is actually on top of St. Kilda, which is like super touristy area. Um, maybe we can show it to you on the map right now. Yeah, we can see the beach from here. I think after the flat visit, we probably gonna take a walk at the beach. But for now, we're gonna go inside, have the inspection. We're actually planning on doing a separate video on that. So you see how we house hunt in Melbourne, exactly. So, so far, I can tell from, from my point of view, because I never lived here, there's a central area, which is called the CBD, where we are living at currently to Doxit um, Disco. And there are suburbs, and the suburb is a bit more residential, it looks very nice, very looked after, and some are a bit more edgy. So this would be our local beach here. Goodbye. I mean... It's not too bad. No complaints. And there's someone with a doggy, which means uh, doggies are loud. <laughs> not sure about that. <laughs> Back to But it's not what you made for, and there's nothing that is too late for. We actually don't have so much time left. It's time for us to head north to Collingwood to the second flat visit and then afterwards we potentially actually have a third one but not sure yet if we're gonna make it and if we attend it. But for now, up to the north and explore there a little. But West St. Kilda is definitely a nice place to be. So a tram in front of us has technical issues so we have to Uber to make it in time. Hi. The tram just uh Storm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some more time. We don't need to worry at all. Delivery. 
little sushi break. We were very hungry. Stop in the city and then off to Collingwood in the north. And then actually we have to go south again. So it's a bit of a hustle today. But that's a day in our life in Melbourne at the moment. That's better. We have to keep going, so let's go. Sweet. So we made it to Collingwood. It's much busier here, but also more shops and more bars and stuff if you're into it. Which we're actually not so much, but let's see, maybe we will be. And we made it to Elwood, so again in the south of Melbourne, for our third inspection and actually because our Uber driver was a bit wild, a bit quick, <laughs> but we actually have an hour early. So cool. we are going to explore this area a little. And look at this, it seems to be a canal. And actually cars can just pass here, but I guess not if the water is very high. So yeah, we apologize for this back and forth jumping in this vlog, but it was either this day or no day to have a video up for this Sunday. And this is what we most of the time do right now. It's like house hunting, job hunting, getting things done and organized to establish a base here for a while. We were also thinking instead of renting a house to just dock it. We have a lot of ideas in our head right now how we can make it work here at the moment, but I think the next weeks will show where in which direction we're gonna go because Actually, we just felt like we really arrived for the last couple of days. We also had to cut ourselves some slack, you know. We are just here for two weeks now and the first week or ten days were recovery, recovery from the long journey and arriving and the stress beforehand. So I think that's fair enough. Let's explore Elwood. <laughs> Little organic supermarket saved us and provided us with a little coconut water and uh, orange juice. Very pulpy. Yeah. Very pulpy. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't anyway. like bubbles, she doesn't like pub. Anyway, let's go to the final inspection for the day. And then we're gonna see what little disco boy is uh, doing at home. So this was inspection number three, last one for today. And we're heading back. Now we have to take a train back home to the center and see how disco is doing and maybe we head out for something, for a snack or maybe something or maybe not, we, we don't know yet. Very nice area, but the connections are not that great, so let's walk. You really walk. need a car in here. Yeah. And that's another thing for the list, so... Now the best part when we come home, we have a little disco waiting for us. Sometimes he's a very elegant, lying on the couch with his classical music. Let's see how we find him today. Schneefi! Hiya! With your classical music! So cool! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Oh, it's nice and cool in here. We left the AC running for him. Not sure if you can take this boy out again for a walk. He was just lying on the couch like this. Is it too hot, little disco? Alright, we have our papers together. We submitted the first applications for the first houses. Woo -woo. Unfortunately, we didn't make it out again, but also Disco didn't seem like going out again. He was lying on bed. We will capture him soon. But now I'm gonna do something very adventurous. What we saw this morning on Max and Oki's channel. If you don't know them, head over, check them out. Vegemite peanut butter. Let's see how that goes. I wanna get the first impressions on camera. Okay, let's see. I think the secret is, like always with Vegemite, that you don't layer too thick with it because otherwise it gets too too strong. If you've never had Vegemite, it's like a super savory spread. It's yeast paste. Yeast paste, yeah, like super salty. So let's see. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay. Highly recommend thin layer of Vegemite peanut butter. Try it out. 
Are you ready for movie night, Disco? I think so. <laughs> Get comfy. What is that? So this is it. We end the day where we started. <laughs> Pretty exhausted after all this inspections and paperwork and walking around. So we're gonna watch a couple of episodes of OC. And this was how a day in our lives kindly looks like living in Melbourne. We are so happy that you join us for this sunny and gorgeous day. And as always, we thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and join us in this new life we've started in Australia. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.